Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is July 27th, 2017, and it's raining, and it's overcast again as you can see. I just pointed, I'm kind of underneath the awning here because it is raining as we're doing this video. Uh, this year has absolutely freaking been insane. We've had so much rain. It is absolutely crazy. Uh, I, I've never seen anything like it, to be honest with you. Weather's just been bizarre. Uh, last two winters have been super, super mild up here in the Northeast. And, uh, you know, and here we are. We're, like, last summer was a, a scorcher. It was so hot and dry all summer. And then this year has been really, really wet. I think, uh, I feel like I'm in England, to be honest with you, as, a, you know, Great Britain as opposed to uh, <laughs> being in the U.S. Uh, it's just been crazy. i just never seen anything like it. It's just been nuts. But anyway, so um, I want to do a video real quick and uh, kind of give you updates what my, my immediate plans are. And uh, I really need to focus on loading up my wood. So I know that this weekend I have off. So I think what I'm the game plan is going to be weather permitting and hopefully the weather cooperates. Uh, I'm going to be really working on wood this weekend saturday and sunday and uh so that is going to be the game plan to try to really bang that out and get get a you know enough wood even if i just get it you know bucked up and like over here in the pile get it there and to to that point and then get that a real good size pile and then split it all at the same time and and stack it after you know after we do that and so i, I may do that i'm not 100 percent sure yet but uh, I definitely need to focus on wood this weekend and get that really going. So that's what my game plan is going to be for this weekend. Uh, I'll show you right here, too. We have, uh, these are all raspberries right here, too. So it's pretty funny. The raspberries just take off and, and grow wherever they want to. And if you let them, they will take over everything. So, but uh, now it's funny. Like Today it was uh, partly cloudy earlier in the day and then we had some rain like when I was going to work it was raining and uh, had some rain when I was working but uh, it, it's just it's, it's bizarre how the weather has been and uh, but then like I said now it's raining again it's been like a light sprinkle pretty much ever since I got home but you know what are you gonna do that's that's part of what you got to deal with um, so after I get the wood taken care of and done I really want to get another rack built for these other solar panels and get that up and get that going um that's going to be you know i got to really get that going i want that done before the snow flies so that the racks are like basically side by side and squared away and uh we can get that part going so i think that would be a really really good thing hello so yesterday my poor kitties all had to deal with some serious trauma we um defleed all of them because they're outside all the time you know um, this type of time of you know year they like to be out as much as possible so we everybody got a flea treatment yesterday and they were not happy with us at all and uh, you can't really see max but he is sleeping on the other side of the grill up on top there on the side of it um he was the worst oh my god he fought like a freaking banshee but uh we got them all done, and uh, so they definitely seem calmer today, a lot less scratching. And the flea stuff that we use, they said it's good for up to uh, 100 days. So we had to take care of them. I felt really, really bad. I could see that they were suffering. So I wanted to really just uh, get them all squared away. Right, baby girl? Yeah. Get you squared away. Yeah, good girl. And... Uh, yeah, so just uh, nothing really going on. I mean, obviously with it raining, you're not really going to get a whole lot done or a whole lot happening. So it's just a low-key day. And uh, I just kind of wanted to show you, this has been so much of our summer this year. Uh, if you look at, like, the last three or four videos I've done, you're, you've seen, like, I mean, you look at the clouds up there. It's just, like, so overcast. And uh, it's just the way it's been. And uh, the production on the solar panels when it's like that is a lot less. Like, now today... We actually did better than the other day. We um, we had uh, two and a half kilowatt hours in on the one day. Let me go in here and see what we're at today. Hold on a second. I'm going to go in here and turn this on. 
So a lot of people had asked me, you know, am I going to add more batteries now that I have more solar? And I know I had talked about this already. So we pulled in uh, 3.4 kilowatt hours on a day between the two um, systems. So really not a huge production day. I mean, I'm happy with better than two and a half, but uh, so we've only pulled in three, four. And um, so that's what, uh, let me turn that off. Come on, baby, out of here. Come on. Come on. Soxy, hey. All right, you're getting locked in. I won't lock her in. So anyway, um... Ideally, what I'm looking to do, as far as the solar goes, is get to a point where even on a day like today, where it's overcast and cloudy, let's see, did it stop? It did a little bit for a moment. Now it's just a light sprinkle. But uh, even on a day like today, where it's overcast, if I can pull in, any, generally a good day for us is if we pull in better than five kilowatt hours. Uh, that's really what we need to pull in on a daily basis. Just to be completely comfortable, um, to be awesome, you know, if we pull in 8 or 9 kilowatt hours, that would be great. Now, the best day that we've had so far since I put up the new panels was a 7.9. And uh, so that was a really productive day. And, uh, you know, we did really, really well with that. But um, anyway, you know, it's, we just, uh, you know, it's, it's a project that's, you know, it's going to be something that's continuously going on. And it, I, like I said, I do plan on in the spring adding on to the system again so but like i said i want to get these six on a rack like this add two more before the snow flies get the other post obviously in here once we pull this all apart and uh so i mean basically when we do this got to pull all these apart set them aside get the post in get the you know the outside rack and get them loaded and try to do it all basically in one day which i mean is very possible especially if i have somebody up here helping me do it so um that's that's basically what we're going to work on as far as uh you know getting things squared away that way and i could probably utilize i'm not sure if i can or not though because it's like but we'll see about maybe utilizing some of this you know excess lumber when we when we break everything down and take it apart but so like i said it's just you know it's a work in progress. I know what I got to do. I know what I got to take care of. And yeah, you can, I'm going to show you this here. It's just, so we got little clear spots here and there, but like right now where we're at, it's raining and it's starting to come down again a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, it's just, um, like I said, it's, it, it's a work in progress. And uh, you know, it's, like I said, we went from when we, the first winter we were here, we had 750 uh, watts of power the three solar panels so these were the original three then in the spring of that next year we added these three which brought us up to 1500 and that's what we went with all the last year was 1500 and uh you know then obviously this year we added another 1020 and the boost from 1500 to 2520 uh was absolutely incredible the amount of power we're bringing especially since we did the different rack and they're in you know better now a lot of people have talked about the angle and stuff like that once the winter comes guys you know i can basically i'll get like um a, i can take a broom or something and i can basically just put a ladder not a ladder but like even a, a small step ladder i can just stick it there and get up and just work it down or get up behind there put a ladder up behind there and from the top push the snow down and off i mean we'll get it off i mean it's not a big deal um, you know, and then here on the edge, you'll see, you can see that it's got like a lip of maybe less than half an inch before it goes to the top. So that'll just slush right off. And, and what happens is a lot of times too with the solar panels in the winter, I know with the panels over here, they would get a layer of snow on them. And as it warmed up, if it was a somewhat decent day, it would, you know, the, the panels would heat up and the, sl and the snow would just slide off them that way and i think because even with this angle even though it's not as sharp as angle it'll still just slide off pretty easily once we get into the winter with these and uh, so that that'll work out pretty decently but um you know i'll take you back over here real quick again and just show you the freaking jungle and like i said the tomatoes are tomatoes all through here they're here um tomatoes growing there 
I mean, even on the bottom down here, you can see a tomato. Now you see the zucchini. I'll show you those right there. You see that? They're looking really good. That one might even be ready to pick. Um, let's go in through here and take a look. Yeah, here's a... Well, that one's not any good. Let's see. Now there's one over here. He's growing pretty good right there. You can see that. You see that one? And they're growing in there. There's some over here. Yeah, there's, I'm going to have to get in here and, and really dig through the zucchini. But I know I've, I've, I've picked, um, oh, there's another cucumber ready. Let's see, let me pull that baby off of there. Look at that. Nice cucumber. So, and like if you look right there, see another tomato. The peppers are here. The onions are doing freaking great. So let me see if I can find any more cucumbers while I'm right here. Now look at this here. We got this one here. It had grown right up the thing there. And uh, let's see what we got here. Eh, that one's not quite ready. We got some over here growing. Eh, it's not quite ready. But yeah, we got a bunch. I mean, there is definitely a lot of cucumbers in there. But so I'm just going to pick the one right now. So I know what I'm having for part of my dinner. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, the garden's doing awesome. But like I said, it's like things are just kind of slow at the moment. Just trying to get ahead of a few things. And, uh, you know, as more money comes in, obviously, we'll get more done. But uh, cutting wood don't cost a whole lot. It's just the gas and time and effort. So, uh, like I said, I can split all this up. That's got to be done. And like I said, I will fill in all of this. And we won't use it all. And here's, you know, like I said, this was the maple, that huge maple that we took down. But I'll fill in. I can get two rows in through there yet. And I'll bring it all the way out to the end here. And if I fill in this whole area, we're going to have more than enough wood for the winter. So, and like I said, I'm not cutting down like live trees. I'm not doing that at all. There's a lot of trees that are down that I can get at and take care of. So that's what I'm going to be working on. But uh, anyway, oh, I got to show you. So somebody was asking me, you know, how's our mice problem and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys something. Now, right there is Mr. Mouse. Okay, he's obviously a toasted cheese sandwich. Um, the cats, and there's Maxie having him asleep. That's what I was pointing out at earlier. He's over here having a nap. Um, anyway, so, no, we don't have a mice problem because the cats are very, very resilient. They're good hunters. I mean, they, they take down everything. They're always leaving dead stuff around here and there. So I know that they, they do that to kind of show that they, th they don't think we can feed ourselves. So they leave some for us. So if, you know, they're, they're getting them. So we got, you know, we got five cats, so... I don't worry about mice or anything like that because they, they take care of all of that, trust me. Um, anyway, guys, listen, just kind of a rambling video, and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, like I said, the plans with the solar and stuff like that. And, you know, some people had talked about, you know, how to get, how am I going to get the snow off, you know, in the winter. And like I said, even with a big, um, like a squeegee or something to that effect, I can just take, you know, that stand down here at the bottom pull it up there and just pull it right off and that's going to come right off there's because that's not a real big lip and uh, this one's got a bigger lip on this one but that's okay anyway so that's what's happening uh that's what we're doing and uh, hopefully this weekend i can you know if the weather cooperates i plan on doing a bunch of wood if i can so that's what i'm going to do and anyway so that's what's happening nothing super exciting low-key mellow day uh you know so that's that's what's happening I'm going to take my cucumber in and I'm going to eat that and uh, that's it. So anyway, listen, um, I hope everybody's doing well. And like I said, um, I, what I'll probably end up doing, and I won't do it in every video, but uh, down in the description, probably like every other video, just in case anybody's interested, if you're interested in any of that legacy food, um, I'm going to put the link in there for us so that, you know, you guys can go to the site to, if you're interested, you know, so I'm just going to mention that. But So I probably won't be in this one because we did that video yesterday. But, uh, so that's what's happening. Okay? So anyway, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day because tomorrow's not guaranteed. There's no 
guarantee of what's going to happen tomorrow. So tell the people how you feel about them, how you feel. Uh, it's real important. And remember, guys, it's STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Whatever your goals are, you can reach them. You know, sometimes it may seem frustrating and you might not get a lot accomplished. But if you persevere and you work through it, you're going to get there. Okay? So I will talk to you all tomorrow. And uh, have a great night. Prepper Nurse went out for now.